Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Pro. In this video, we will learn how to read the file data from the configuration.ini file. In the front panel, we have the cluster indicator. And on the background, as you can see, we have the .ini file stored value of John Smith 24 and mail with section of details. Now what we have to do is, let's clear that value over there. And now what we are going to do is, we are going to read the uh, data from the configuration file and display on the indicator in LabVIEW. So just like the last time, what we will do is, we require three different VIs for this operation as well. From the configuration file VI palette, we'll use the open configuration file reference, close configuration, and read keys. Now, since there are three different keys, we'll be using three read keys, arrange them properly, Now what we'll do is we'll arrange everything properly so it is much more readable. Avoid bending of the wars. Now connect the references. And never forget to terminate the reference at the end. Because like if you want to terminate the reference, the file won't be able to save. So, do not forget that one. That's the important thing. Now, what we have to do is, we'll do the create constant just like the last time, and do the bundle by name. Since what we are doing is we are reading the data from the .ina file and converting it into the LabVIEW usable data type. So, if you connect the constant over there, we'll get three different data types over there. The first one is the string, and the other two are the one is the inner man, and the other one is the ring. Now, if we select the value of the key type, that is the first one is the string, second one will be the i32, that will be the age, and finally the fourth one will be, we have to do the string over there because data in our file cannot, cannot recognize the cannot recognize the enum data type. So the value coming out is a string. So what we have to do is we have to convert that string into enum. So let's make a little bit room over there. Now what we'll do is We'll compare the value coming out from the key. So we'll compare with the male. If the value is male, what we'll do is we'll send the send the enum enum constant with male on it. Otherwise, we'll send the female. We have changed the values over there, connected everything. And this is the system. Change that to female. Now we still require the sections. The section, as you can see, is called details over there. In a configuration file, it can have as many types of sections and as many types of uh, keys as well. So, depending on the requirement. Now, we still have to give the key names. The first one will be the name. Second one will be the age. And third one will be the gender. So 
So now what we have to do is it's empty at the moment. If we'll run it, as you can see, the code has read the value from the configuration file and updated it in the lab here. So let's update, modify the .ana file, change the values and check whether it's working properly or not. We have changed the age to 32, 3, uh, gender to female and name to Elizabeth Swan. So save that file and then if we'll run it, as you can see, the value is updated properly. This is how you read the value from the .ana file.